Hey guys, Kigur here, and today I have a tutorial that will probably, uh, or may or may not, break down to a series of videos, or maybe I can squeeze this all in one. So, uh, it's all about starting a blog. It's gonna be a little long, so, uh, you know, get ready. Uh, this is a question I first off got from somebody, uh, a sibling actually, so she's at, attending college, and, uh, she asked me a question, and the best way I could do it, you know, to explain it would be over video, so I'm gonna send her this over, but I thought it would be important just for you viewers as well, so... Uh, it says, my professor wants to set up a website where we, uh, meaning the class, can put up our feedback on the class online. The catch is she wants us all to have a secret name so no one knows who writes what, you know, just in case so you can't, you know, tell who's writing or submitting whatever article. And on top of that, she wants us to approve all feedback, blog posts, before they are posted on the web. Is there a way to do this? Um, and there is. There's many ways you can do it. Um, now, this is all for you viewers as well in starting a blog. Now, I've talked about this in the past, but haven't really gone in depth. So, today I'm going to be talking about starting a blog, uh, you know, your choices, how you're going to edit it, and an overview of the panel and everything to starting a blog. So, uh, today I'm going to be talking about the provider that would be best to do this. I mean, there's a lot, in my opinion, uh, there's a lot, but uh, the most, uh, you know, not easiest, but the one big name out there is WordPress, and you can go over WordPress.com, uh, express yourself, and start a blog. It's really easy now. There's two ways they have you can uh, use WordPress now. So uh, there's a lot of other providers. There's Blogger, uh, who's owned by Google. There's TypePad. Uh, all these other blogging services uh, did do fairly well and more simple. But WordPress has a lot of stuff, especially if you install WordPress, which I'll be talking about right now. So install or web what I like to call web ready. So um, when you start a blog on WordPress, as you see, there's over, you know, 213,000 bloggers, uh, and that's just all today. So, okay, so, talking about, uh, installing or actually just making a web-ready account. Now, if you sign up for an account right here, uh, username, password, uh, WordPress will give you your own blog, like I have here. I have, I made an example blog. This has, this is an old, old, old blog of mine. As you see, this is all ready, you know, it's all, you can access all from the web interface. It's all, you know, ready and there for you. You can do this, uh, you know, just have it, make an account and have access to a dashboard where you can just go ahead and start blogging already. But uh, there's another option which is more powerful, and that's called installing, that's, uh, installing WordPress. So I have all the links will be in the video description to the right. If you install WordPress, uh, you know, you get way more functionality. You can install what are called plugins, which allow you to do certain stuff. You know, they're just little add-ons. Um, and it doesn't take too long to install. It takes a little bit of knowledge. I would recommend if you're just looking to start up a personal blog, you know, something like that, go ahead and, you know, sign up for an account at WordPress.com and just get a free blog. Um, if you're looking to get a little bit more, you know, uh, a little bit more heavy, a little adding more, you know, cooler stuff to your blog, more uh, advanced, you may want to try installing it. Now, for this situation, I'm going to recommend installing it, and I'll talk about that a while later on. So, it only takes five minutes to install. You are going to need a web server or, you know, something like a... If you have a host who hosts your website, if you have whatever, whatever.com, like we have adrianstech.com, uh, uh, services like GoDaddy or, uh, you know, other web hosts out there, they can actually install WordPress for you, some of them. Uh, their support, if you just say, can you install WordPress for me, they'll go ahead and do it for you so you don't have to do it. If not, if you can actually follow these instructions, which aren't that hard, it only takes about five minutes to install, not that hard. Pretty easy if you know how to, you know, work with FTP and everything. And for this college, I'm sure they can get, you know, WordPress installed easily, and that's what I would recommend for this situation. Okay, so, like I said, this is the blog ready, you know, everything's ready right here, out of the box, if you sign up for an account. And this is more, like I said, for those new users who have no idea how to, you know, if you just want to get simple posts out there, and just know, uh, it's pretty easy this way. Um, you can, you know, work, I'll show the whole dashboard in a second here, but uh, like I said, for this situation where they want to actually moderate posts, you can go here into users. Uh, this is just the web ready, um, let's see here. And you can actually see all the other, this is like you see my old, old email, so... Uh, I have the role as administrator. You can add other people's uh, roles, so I can change my role to a, an editor, an author, or a contributor. That way, if I'm a contributor, uh, you know, I can actually put out posts and stuff like that. I can even add new roles, so I can add a user's email and make him a editor or, you know, whatever I want to do. I can change his status, but he, uh, they like, like the uh, email said, they want it to be anonymous. So when you sign up for an account, you can simply have uh, you know your own username, and it's not that hard to sign up for an account. You can use a uh, open ID or just you know 
go ahead and sign up for an account. Um, and she wants to approve all the feedback. So this is where plugins are going to come in. So install WordPress, and you're going to get a similar, uh, very, very similar uh, interface as this dashboard here. But you're just going to have a little uh, extra features that say stuff like widgets and add-ons down here. So there's a plugin which can be uh, installed for people who actually installed the service of WordPress. It's called Post Approval. And I accidentally hit that there. Post approval, as the title says, it approves your post, and that's exactly what they want to do. So the professor would be, uh, in sense, the admin. We're using this, you know, as the situation I got in the email. Uh, let's say a student posts out something without, you know, whatever their anonymous username is, and the GT status. Uh, I'm not sure what GT would stand for, but the, you know, the uh, status would be approved, or you know, you can reject it. Reject it, approve it, you can edit it if you would like. The professor can edit it, she can delete it, she can view it. All before, you know, it even shows up on the actual blog. If she hits approve, it shows out to the users and their feedback to the classes. You know, it's all there. So simply it adds the post can become accepted or rejected. When the post is accepted, the post is visible to everybody in the section of the blog. And when it's rejected, rejected the post is visible only in the author's archive. So, you know, it's a really simple add-on. You just install it and then you put it in your plugins folder. And, uh, like I said, uh, for the situation for the college, I would highly recommend them installing WordPress because the plugins are going to help a lot. So, uh, like I said, there's, uh, let's see what else I have to show here. There's only, there's two ways to show it. Okay. So, choose your, uh, path for all you users who, whether you want to install the, uh, actual WordPress blog or you just want to use a web-ready account. After that, you want to customize it. You just want to, you know, add your themes and stuff like that. And with, uh... With the uh, WordPress, if you just sign up for an account, there's not many themes. I mean, there's a lot of themes, but not really cool ones, like four or three column ones. Uh, I'm using one called Chaotic Soul. You can go ahead and search through. I mean, they have some nice ones, but if you want to install more, there's uh, if you want to install other themes, you actually have to install WordPress. So, yeah. Um, now, like I talked already about, you can have your authors, and they can have their permissions. And other people can just sign up and, you know, view your blog. Now you can change it, of course, if you want. If you go into the actual users, let's see here. You can uh, let's invite, you can actually invite people to join your blog. You can have your blog restricted to only people you want to, view, you know, like only certain people that you've uh, invited. So if I go to settings here, let's see. Settings, well, it loads. Oh, that just shows, you know, all the stuff right here, all your information about your blog that you can edit around. And I believe it's under reading. So if I go to reading, it shows your, you can show your latest posts, well, how many posts you have. What else do we have here? Um, privacy, that's where I want to be showing you. Okay, so if you go to privacy, uh, right here. I would like my blog visible to everyone, block search engines from allowing it, but allow no more visitors, or you can only be visible to users you choose, i.e. the class, for example. It can only be visible to them because they have an account. Okay, so yeah, so this is the tour of it. You can, you know, upgrade settings. You're going to have to manually upgrade uh, WordPress if you're on an install basis. If you're on a uh, web ready, it's simple to, uh, you know, they update it for you. Tools, there's your users, you can mess with your appearance, like I said, you can add widgets, you can add themes, extras, custom headers, you can set up polls, comments, pages, extra pages, links, uh, there's your media, add, add, edit, add new post, post tags and categories, and you're going to check out your comments, your tags, your subscriptions, or whoever subscribed to your blog, your blog stats, and the home, of course, the dashboard. So guys, that's how you set up a WordPress account, simply easy. Um, I just had to cover, again, overview of all of this. Pick your provider, decide whether you want a, a web-ready account or you want to go ahead and install WordPress on your server. Customize your blog, add themes, add widgets, add whatever you want to you know, make it more your own blog. Uh, get your authors and whoever else is going to write and give them some permissions, uh, You know whether they're going to be editor, author, administrator, stuff like that. And uh, the accounts, you know, just let people... Uh, decide whether you want people, everybody to view it, certain people to view it, you know, uh, niche group to view it, something, you know, stuff like that. Um, and yeah, guys, so I hope this answers everybody's questions on how to start a blog. Again, there's a lot of other services. I'll leave a lot of links in the video description to the right. And of course, for this email, I think I've just about answered it, and I would recommend again installing WordPress for all of this. I'll leave the links to the plugins, 
uh, the install setup and everything like that in the video description to the right. Thanks for listening, guys. Hope you enjoyed.